Hey guys, Kiara and hello, this is Arun Jacob, your friendly and frank licensed New Zealand immigration advisor trying to give you yet one more insight into New Zealand. So today I'm traveling from Hamilton to another city called Dunedin and I've stopped for a bit at uh, Christchurch and because I have a little time I thought I might as well make a video about the Christchurch airport and share it with all of you who are going to land here very very soon and become part of this beautiful country so i'm going to flip the camera around and show you a bit of the christchurch airport and there you have it that my friends is what you will see first when you land in christchurch airport and uh, this is the airport where a lot of international flights come in as you can see there is an emirates flight there and a qantas flight already parked I'm going to do a little walking tour and show you a bit more but they have also had this very impressive uh, air traffic control tower and uh, that is one of the highlights of this particular airport. Sorry about that finger that just came into the frame. There is a Novotel uh, as you can see the big brown building that is the Novotel so if you arrive really late in the night and you want to have a bit of rest there's an airport just sorry there's a hotel just outside the airport and there is also another hotel here called uh, the Sudima hotel there you go i don't know if you can see it but there's another hotel right next to the airport and i don't know if i can zoom in enough to get this but there's also something called the Arctic Center, sorry, the Antarctic Center, uh, which is one of the uh, main attractions here in uh, Christchurch. So, if you are near the airport and you have some time, you must visit the Antarctic Center. And I'm gonna walk across and show you. Oh, there's a flight just taken off, it's an Air New Zealand flight. Let's see if we can. There we go, that's taken off, but you will be landing in Christchurch and you will get a beautiful fabulous view of this wonderful city it is called Garden City and I am going to try and uh, show some more aspects of uh, this thing so the United States have a base here at the airport and they have their United States Antarctic uh, program that runs out of Christchurch Airport so whenever they will have to supply their uh, you know experimental uh, bases and uh, all the other experiments they conduct in Antarctica this is where they take, take off from and there is a lovely big US Air Force plane right there and that's what these guys used to go and come from Antarctica and as I said there are also the international flights that come here I'm gonna do another close-up of the Emirates flight and the Qantas aircraft that are parked there so that's where you will arrive let's continue walking and I am now walking towards the main airport itself it's going to be like a five minute walk but you will be able to see how beautiful this airport is and if you have decided to come to Christchurch this is where you will land and you will also have a fantastic arrival uh, here at this beautiful airport and like I said this is a close-up of the Novotel Hotel I shall keep walking and I hope I don't bore you guys too much but the idea was to give you all an insight into what you can expect to see when you land in Christchurch if you have decided to come to New Zealand so I'm gonna shut up for a while and just walk and show you the airport all right guys here we go
there you are, the international arrivals. That's where you come in. Um, that's where you will most likely get first into the airport. Another beautiful view of that lovely big US Air Force plane. There we go. Wow, that's a massive beast. So yeah, that's what the US guys used to travel from and to Antarctica for their bases which are there and I'm now on the rear side of the Novotel Hotel and walking towards the main airport terminal There you see a beautiful walkway. Let's walk through the this nice shaded glass path. Oh, I love it. And I see a lot of, I think they're the Qatari or Emirates, Emirates uh, crew trying to go over uh, to, onto their flight. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be flying to the Middle East very, very shortly. Um, there's that beautiful tower again the air traffic control and that my friends is your Christchurch airport for you and I will walk in a little bit that's where the buses come and drop you off and that's another view there lovely isn't it it's also a beautiful bright sunny day today and that's the terminal which I'm going to walk into very very shortly I see a police car there hope they don't come and stop me and ask me why I'm shooting all this uh, let me check for signs which says do not shoot but yeah, this is where the check-in occurs. And now we are inside the terminal. Very cozy, beautiful place. That's where you can rent your cars. You can exchange your currency. Once you arrive into Christchurch, you can come to this counter from Travelex. And that, my friends, is where you will enter into Christchurch. There's the International Arrivals Gate. And before that, of course, you will finish your customs and everything else you can see in the background the x-ray machines checking for anything that should not enter the country some more car rental companies right here that's your international departures and the domestic arrival lounge beautiful montage of the Christchurch Airport. Those better about the international side of things. And now we're going to walk through the rest of the concourse. Yeah. And there's the Emirates crew trying to board their flight. Whoa, a lot of people. Man, it must be a big aircraft if there are. Once you land, you can also have some food on arrival. And yeah, that's right, that was the Emirates check in. It's 
So that whole crew there is trying to get onto their flight. Oh, it's going to Sydney. EK413. That's what it says. And I bet it'll go from there all the way to the Middle East. And yeah, these are some of our local departures. Oh, the screen just changed, but yeah, but there is very important information there. If all visitors, ah, there you go. That's some of our local departures to our local cities. And I'm gonna be on one of those flights. To go all the way to Dunedin Travel Store. And if you want some information as soon as you land, you can go to that another travel exchange, uh, currency exchange rather. And once you land, if you're lost or want any information, that right there is the airport information desk. Hope to have given you a little insight into what Christchurch Airport looks like and hope all of you will come here and enjoy yourselves in New Zealand. Take care. Bye-bye.